everybody. For those of you who were wondering how you get the sticky glue um, blue shield off of these plates, because um, I noticed that it looked like Chivalry had tried to help me get it off um, and it just really won't come off, is you take some squares like this, the lint-free squares, and soak them in a bowl of acetone like this and then just use your tweezers and lay them across touching each other across the entire surface. Um, <clears throat> depending on the size of your plate will determine how many you actually need. Um, and use tweezers even if you have natural nails because um, you know, exposure to it can cause your cuticles and stuff to be dry, including the the balls of your fingertips. So it's always good if you don't have to be um, exposed to it not to. And you just want to press them down on there and let them sit for um, several minutes. I mean, it could take up to 10 minutes. It will start to dissolve and soften um that plastic and then you can, should be able to just basically wipe it off um, but you would just cover it this way and let it sit and make sure they're completely saturated so that um, it will soak into the plastic and help melt it down. Okay just to show you the next step um, you'll want to then take these back and you can actually put them in they're back in the acetone. If you have a glass container, you can put these back in the acetone and use them for another project. Um, but see what happens is, is it softens it enough that it soaks in and makes the glue release from the metal so that you don't have to fight with it. Because normally this plastic will peel right off when you buy these plates, but occasionally it's on there like DEFCON 3000 and you just can't get it off. And then you'll just take one of these wipes and clean your plate surface to get the rest of the glue off. But see, you'll just gently pull it down evenly across until it comes all the way off like this. And don't try to be aggressive and get it all off really fast or it's just going to peel away like in little pieces and it'll just be more frustrating than what it's worth. Um, and leave, a little tip too, is to leave the bottom half on there until you get to it because just like when you remove acrylics um, from your nails, if you remove them from the acetone, it begins to kind of harden back up and stick back up. That's what happens with this too. It sort of starts to get sticky again to the plate. So you want to kind of wait till you get down to them and then remove them. That way you won't have, you know, to fight with it. So then you're just going to peel it away this way and you'll have the complete plate and then all you have to do is clean this surface with some acetone and your lint free or even a terry cloth towel if you need something with a little bit of grip. So now that we removed that, we want to take our gauze cotton squares and just scrub it really well. And you're going to want to probably want to go over it more than once um, because if the glue was stuck so hard that you couldn't get the blue plastic off, that means it's going to be down in the etch designs too. So you just want to get it really, really clean. And then you want to run it um, under warm water and use just a little bit of soap and use your fingertips to just clean any fibers or particles that were left behind um, out, out of the images. And it won't take very long. It seems like a lot of work, but really it's not. And as you can see, this is the second one I've used to clean this, and you can see that yellow tinge. That's the glue. So you just want to get that out of the images. And then we'll just clean it with the soapy water, and it will be good to go. And your plate should look about like this. Um, I still should go back and clean it one more time with the soap, but it will look about like this. And, that, you know, most of the time you're not going to lose um, control of that blue plastic, but occasionally 
it is a monster. So hopefully this was helpful in um, helping those of you who may have encountered that or had one that was so bad you kind of gave up and put the, the image plate in the closet or in a drawer. And you're like, I'll get back to it, and you never did. Um, that's all you got to do. So hopefully that was helpful, and thank you so much for watching.